good to be vlogging again. I took a little break. I've taken breaks before from YouTube. At any point in my career on social media, I feel like I've gotten the most messages from people um, when I don't post on YouTube, just checking in on me and asking how I'm doing and that they miss the videos and even reflecting back on my pop-up in New York. I feel like the majority of people who came up to me and said something really kind um, and meaningful to me talked about my YouTube. I just appreciate you guys so much and I appreciate the people so much that go out of their way to send me a kind message even if I don't respond. But yeah, I'm really excited to be back creating on YouTube. I feel like in a weird way, I feel like a lot has changed since I last uploaded a YouTube video and that is sort of the cool part about YouTube. I do feel like it's a digital journal and it's crazy to think that like the last home vlog that I uploaded, I was sitting in my bathroom at my old house telling you guys that I just bought this house and that I was just so excited to move. And honestly, the move-in date felt so far away when I made that video. I mean, I had the pop-up, I had the US Open, I just had so many things and so many work things before the move, the move felt so far away. So I've been here getting settled for like 11 days, which is not long at all. As much as I have missed vlogging and updating you guys on everything, I've just been settling in and moving and not feeling pressured to like overshare. And I think that for this move, it was really important for me to just like put away the camera and not vlog and just be really present and be present with Tommy and my family and friends. And I feel like in that, you know, the not vlogging and not doing much social media besides pre-recorded branded content for like 11 days. Um, that's not that long in the grand scheme of things, but I do feel like, I think that sort of just proved to me something. I talked to you guys a little bit about how I was gonna be doing less tennis content, like I didn't do a US Open vlog this year, and, and how I was still gonna be obviously doing a handful of tournaments, but just not nearly as much. After not filming the US Open, which is something that's like very easy and fun to film, and it's a big tournament, and then not filming my move, and feeling really good about those decisions, and feeling really good about where I felt mentally, just sort of proved to me that just because something is content worthy and just because something is, or just because something might perform well, doesn't mean that that's actually what's best for my mental health and for my life. I think that social media makes people obviously move different in the world. There is no denying that. It is not human nature to film your life. It's not human nature to share every aspect of your life. It's not human nature to share navigating and going through your 20s. But, and I know that, and I love my job. I know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But I also think that there's something to be said about, I don't want social media. I don't want to be doing vlogs or be sharing things that don't feel 100% authentic. I kind of had this moment this summer where I was like, why am I actually doing some of the content that I'm doing. And my tennis content performs really, really well. People and tennis fans love this sort of BTS wag content. It could be clickbaity, it always does well. And as someone who works in social media, when you see all of your content that's around a topic doing so well, it's very, very easy to just be like, oh, I've gotta keep doing this to the max. So what I'm sort of trying to say is that, so just because something goes viral or just because something performs really well, I need to make sure that it actually aligns with my goals and it actually aligns with what I want. Of course, growth on social media is good for my brand. Of course, growth on social media means that I could make more money, but at what point am I doing that? And then am I not actually focusing on the content that fulfills me and that makes me feel confident and happy? And especially because my home content honestly does just as well as the tennis content. So I guess with those moments of reflection and then with moving, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this was a huge goal of mine for a very long time. Through every really hard day on social media or through any you know, anxiety or anything that I went through because of the negative parts of my job, I always had these large goals that sort of helped me get through. And when I reached this goal, it sort of just put things into perspective for me that that if I work hard at this, I can reach 
every single one of my goals and that I have so many people that are supporting me and I feel like I need less validation than ever, which feels really nice. You can definitely develop an unhealthy relationship with needing reassurance all the time with social media. I just feel really, really good and grateful and I don't know, I just, I'm just feeling really good about this next chapter. So today is Saturday, so this vlog is gonna be a little bit short. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can into this video because I'm actually leaving for Wyoming tomorrow, going on a brand trip with Elwood, which is so fun. And uh, Amanda's also coming with me, which is really fun. And then before I go, I'm going to my sister's bridal shower. I am the maid of honor, so I'm just so happy for her and excited. I feel like I've told you guys this before, but my siblings are not big social media people, but I'm very close with them and I love them a lot. And I'm just so happy for my sister. So, so yeah, I'm gonna pack today and I'm just gonna have a little chill weekend before I leave for the brand trip. I also went to Sephora in CVS yesterday, so I wanna do a little haul for you guys when I start to pack. One of my favorite parts of the new house are these really gorgeous floors. It was one of the first things that I actually noticed about the house that made me fall in love. Guys, one of the only things that is staying the same is this big white couch and my horse print picture. But otherwise, I'm pretty much getting all new furniture, which has been not hard. It's just been... What's the word? It's a big project to, obviously it's why there are interior designers, but to just make everything cohesive and to order furniture and a lot of it's back ordered. So I'm really excited about that and just about decorating this new space because I'm definitely gonna be in this house for a while. And I definitely wanna share like the design stuff and progress on the house because I am changing a few things in the house. Um, the only thing really that I want to redo right now in the house is paint the kitchen and, and redo the hardware, get a new faucet in the sink. And right now there is like a chef electric wolf stovetop. And to be honest guys, they are incredible to cook on, truly. Like I understand why a lot of chefs prefer to cook on electric, but I just really, really want like a really gorgeous stovetop or stove. This, the electric stovetop feels a little bit too modern for me. So yeah, the kitchen's gonna change a lot even though the kitchen is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna make it a little bit more homey. So this house that I bought was completely gutted and redone. And the man who did it has impeccable taste. Like truly he did it better than I could have done it. And he gutted the whole place and just took this really beautiful, charming home and just made it very, beautiful and i do feel like the kitchen needs just like a little bit more character so i'm super excited to make that really feel like mine it'll be a fun little project i have these side tables that i need help bringing upstairs so i think my mom's gonna be over soon and my friends so i'm gonna go change for the day i really want to get a lot of activities in today before i leave for wyoming hopefully run to the barn and then i'm getting dinner with my dad and my mom tonight so, yeah. Okay, I have to show you guys this one room that's like an absolute disaster. But this little room that I'm turning into like a closet, I'm gonna do like an island in the middle. It's not gonna be my closet, but it's gonna be like a beauty accessory room. So I'm really excited about that. This is the beginning of my packing for Wyoming. Obviously I've not done much, but I do wanna do a CVS and Sephora haul for you guys later. And then I got a absolutely massive box from Revolve. So I'm also gonna do a Revolve haul for you guys. Okay. Necessity. I'm gonna be writing English today, which I'm very excited about. I've been writing Western the past like week in the trails. So I'm excited for a little English today. You just want a little TLC I got used to being called out Because I also, like, this saddle too Is like a little bit broken, but Chris gave it to me for free Stop! So I have this 
like size 24 saddle. And I'm not fully sure it fits me, but I really just give me a saddle and he takes the stirrups off. <laughs> so so now like, I have a saddle. With no stirrups? With no stirrups. <laughs> like, how do I fix it if I get these? And you're like, thank you. Is there a fly squirt right around? Uh -huh. Your flies are bad. Okay, just got back from the barn. I think I'm gonna make myself a little snack and then I have to pack. I've not packed at all today, so. Mom, do you want a snack? Are you hungry, do you want a snack? Honestly, this is sort of my usual. I always put extra lemon and pepper, especially if it's plain hummus. This breakfast nook here has the prettiest view of the pool. Hey. What's your plan? I'm having a snack. Nice. What are you having for a snack? Yes. It's giving pepper and ranch. Hummus and pepper and carrot. Oh, cucumber, I'm a liar. Okay, liar. Um, see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, first thing, this really cute wicker, this isn't wicker, is it? Woven basket purse. Next, I got these silver hoops. I've been really into silver jewelry recently. I might put these in right now. I love jewelry that you can sleep in. And honestly, any jewelry you can wear all the time. I like a big, more skinny hoop, but I don't love really big earrings on me much. But I really like these. This For Love of Lemons sweater I thought would be really pretty for Wyoming. Got this little baby tee from Daniel Guzio. Got this little bralette. This is a sweater short set. It's like a very dark green, but really cute. It's oversized. But then what really sold it to me was these matching little sweater shorts. I think this will be really cute with boots. Got this just white cardigan from American Vintage. Oh, this is even cuter in person. From Meow, really cute. And I got matching red shorts. This is like a turtleneck sweater. Finally got a pair of leopard pants. I've been wanting a pair of these for a long time. Ghani makes a really good pair, but I felt like I would only wear them like once or twice. So these are a great option if you like the Ghani leopard print, but you want something more affordable. These are lioness. A little cargo skirt. I don't actually remember ordering this, but it's cute. Okay, so at this point, we all know the Le Spec Out of Love sunglasses that, are, that I feel like everyone has now. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't wear mine anymore. I'm pretty over them. Like, I feel like I see them way too much. I don't know if you guys feel that way. Like, they're cute, basic sunglasses, but I don't know. I just, they're not my favorite anymore. I saw these, which is like a new style for them that I thought was really cute. They're like really skinny. I like these. Cute. Got a pair of frame boot cut jeans for the trip. A basic white shirt from Helsa. Okay, I was really excited about this because I love the brand Bucci. I've worn a bunch of things from them, but I couldn't tell what the fit was from the photo, so I just took the risk. Oh, this is so cute. 
It's this really buttery yellow fabric, really pretty, with a matching little skirt. This is just like active and easy and cute and soft, which is my favorite, so excited about that. I got this flannel for Amanda, who's coming with me. She wanted this, so that's for her. It's really cute. Here are the little red shorts that I wanna wear with this. They'll be cute together. Got these flip-flops. I don't think these are gonna come to Wyoming with me, but I'm gonna be in Florida a lot this winter, so. I just thought these were really cute. A little bit of like a platform on them. And lastly, I got um, two pairs of boots, one for Amanda and one for me. They are the same boot, but in different colors. Got just these like free people combat boots when I don't feel like wearing cowboy boots. And here are the black ones. I might like the black ones better. Honestly, so cute. Okay, next, my CVS haul. Got some makeup wipes. Got a few nail files. I already took one out actually, but needed some nail files. My favorite purple shampoo, which I use like not often, but sometimes. Got a little mini Dove deodorant. This is my favorite deodorant. Some dry shampoo. Love this dry shampoo because it actually smells good. I feel like a lot of dry shampoos smell like ass got these um medium thick hair ties which i love because you can actually like, put all your hair up i love that cvs has different options now got my favorite facial scrub in a little mini travel size my favorite foundation the l'oreal pro glow and then i got this little spray bottle which i fill this up with water and i use this to like wet my hair if i need to like re-blow dry but i love these little containers for whatever you want to put in and I got a little mini toothpaste. Next, I love this Patrick Ta palette. I've gotten it before, but I actually dropped it and it broke. So they finally had it back in stock. To be honest, why I love this palette so much is because of the gel liner part. So it's not only powder, which I love. I got a Bobbi Brown eyebrow pencil. Okay, this was the real reason I went. I got the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil Extreme. So obviously these um, pencils, these are just the Artist Color Pencils. I have it in every color, in every single one of my purses. Wherever Walnut, Anywhere Caffeine, the Cacao one. I'm obsessed with them for my eyes and for my lips. But they came out with an extreme version and I needed to get them. So I grabbed that. Also, I got a Makeup Forever HD Skin in the more matte foundation because I have the dewier ones and the dewier ones are the ones I wear every day but I wanted to try the matte ones because I just love Makeup Forever so much. I got a new um, eyeshadow crease brush, just a Sephora brush in 26. Got another Kosas concealer. Got the Makeup Forever pencil in brown. Got another Urban Decay All Nighter. And then I got my favorite face masks from Dr. Jart. I'm actually not a personal fan of the masks anymore that have two pieces because I feel like they just slip off. Like I just feel like the cloth full face ones, especially these are so good. I also love these ones because they last, I feel like they last on your skin. You can sit there for like an hour and it doesn't just like dry up immediately. I love, love these. Okay, now I need to go grab my suitcase and start packing, but that's my little haul. Okay, for dinner tonight, I think I'm gonna make hamburgers, mac and cheese, and then some acorn squash. I crave mac and cheese like four nights out of the week. I saw these acorn squash at Trader Joe's when I was there, and I just couldn't resist. These have always been my favorite growing up, probably because I grew up eating them with literally butter and brown sugar, so it's literally like dessert, but they are, so delicious squash is definitely one of my favorite foods so i thought in honor of fall starting soon we'd make a few of these some mac and cheese and then i'll do the hamburgers last okay i just take my roasting dish and i'm gonna put some water on the bottom of that and i'm gonna have these and place them face down for probably like 30 minutes 
Then you just scrape out the seeds. Kind of like a pumpkin. It literally smells like a pumpkin. Just having a ginger ale. I have not had a ginger ale in a long time. try to get this other side table upstairs. Yes! Okay, strong. Oh, this way. You okay? Yes, I didn't. Are you all the way Thank <laughs> you. 